<laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's Whitey Market. Thank you. I live in 1981 Northwest 186 Place in Citra in Marion County. I'm the chairman of the Swanee St. John Sierra Club, so I'm representing approximately 2,400 members now. So um, I went to see a great uncle when I was probably 20 years old, and he lived way outside of Live Oak, and I went up to see him. He was getting really old. It was after dark, and I drove up and uh, knocked on the door, and he came out and unlocked it. And, let me in, he said, and he turned around and he locked the door. I said, what are you locking the door for? He said, well, son, that screen door is your first line of defense. So tonight, gentlemen, you are the first line of defense. It's your job now to either issue this special exception to your land use um, development code or to deny it. So it's, it's your job to be that screen door to protect the public health and welfare. And that's what all these people have been saying tonight. So I guess I'm supposed to talk about the consultant and his role. And you said that his job, if he gets the contract, is to review the current information. Well, I don't think anybody knows what the current information is. We don't. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if either you or the consultants can somehow get a guarantee from the agencies that they're going to protect the public welfare and the public safety. And I gave you an example at the last meeting where uh, FDEP, who's charged with water quality, has allowed Pilgrim's Pride up in Live Oak to dump chicken effluent for 30 years in a big pipe right into the Swanee River. They've allowed it. So maybe you guys need to override those agencies. That's one. Uh, we had a pipeline go through Marion County we appealed to the Marion County Commission to look at the environmental impact study and they wrote a letter to the U.S. Army Corps. In two days they wrote back and said we had the environmental impact study and it was done by the applicant. <laughs> so, and so that seems to be the way that agency handles their responsibility for the public health and safety. And then you have EPA, which is just about shrunk up, just about gone. We don't, we don't have much confidence in them now. And then you have the Swanee River Water Management District, who, as you know, I don't need to tell you, we caught that guy, had sunk 38 illegal wells, some on the mining pro proposed mining property and some off of it. Uh, Swanee went and found out that they were indeed illegal, unpermitted wells. And for 38 illegal wells, they find him $108. So the question is, how much authority do you guys have? Or are you going to trust these agencies that nobody can trust? So that's the question, and I hope you can give the consultants some guidance in that direction. Thank you very much.